I know, a terrain editor would be the better option. But you can even create some crazy good looking terrain without a terrain editor or without a mountain creator or whatever you want to call it. So that's what we're here for. And there are different levels and different difficulties, what you can do and what you should not do, what you should do. And that's what I'm here for. And let's go into it. All right, so I start off by showing you guys some galleries that you can use to create mountains. And these are the easy galleries where you basically don't have to do a lot of stuff to create some actually good looking mountains. Uh, you don't have to be super precise. You don't have to hide spots. It is just some very easy terrain. It might not look that great uh, or like look that detailed or like super custom, but it helps a lot uh, if you create some background uh, mounts or whatever. So starting off, we have the first gallery here, which is the typical rock gallery. And this one is super easy. All you have to do is basically go down here, uh, scale it up or depending on which size you want, and then you just place them in each other. That's basically the whole point of creating uh, different terrains is just placing rocks inside of each other. I know that sounds not super exciting, but you can go super crazy here. It doesn't have to be any particular pattern or whatever. You just go and start creating stuff. Uh, just throw them around. Uh, look what looks best. If it, it if it doesn't look good, then delete it. Uh, and you can some you can create some very easy easy mountains or some very easy backgrounds uh, with just a few of these uh, upscale rocks. If you obviously want to put in another. Uh, you know, rock in here to mix it up a little bit. And obviously you can also put in some different galleries in here. It doesn't have to be like uh, always from the same gallery. I mean, it looks great from uh, from the same gallery, but you know, if you find a good texture, which fits good with this particular gallery, you can obviously use it and it will make your mountains look a little bit more alive and a little bit more actually realistic. Okay, moving to the next one, we have the rock and root nature gallery. And this one is actually one that has also a different one, which is like the best thing to use for mountains and the easiest ones uh, but we start off with this one uh this one looks more like a dirt pile of mountains not really like very like rocky mountains but more like i don't know like a very dirty mountains thingy you get the point right you get the point it looks a little bit darker it is not that super beautiful and aesthetically pleasing you could say but it you know gets the job done depending on what you're going for uh, and I think these two work the best uh, with each other these are the light brown and the dark brown one um, you can there's also a very light brown one uh, but um, it really doesn't fit with the uh, darker one so um, I would recommend mixing up these two and obviously all you have to do the same thing here just turn them around um, obviously like this and then scare them up and then put them in your gallery uh, put them in in a rock formation these are like very forgiving like you can just put them anywhere and it will still look good. Like you don't have to look for anything here. Um, you know, it looks a little bit like, you know, very particular for that case, but it looks nice uh, just in general. Moving on to my favorite prop to use as a rock, uh, which is also from the rock and root gallery, a uh, nature gallery, uh, which is this piece. This is actually meant to be uh, like a floating platform or whatever. But if you turn it around, um, you can make some really cool mountains with it. Uh, and it also scales up very big, so you can actually create some really, really big mountains with it, which is super nice. Um, the one thing that you have to take care of in this one uh, is obviously the roots that are standing out. Obviously, they don't look super aesthetically pleasing like these ones here. Uh, so what you basically want to do is you want to go here and then try to you know kind of cover the roots uh, with the mountain formation itself. So obviously play around with the, the scale of it. You don't have to make them all the same scale, mix them, flip them or whatever, uh, and try to kind of, you know, hide the uh, the roots. And obviously you can do that with other things like rocks or whatever, trees or whatever. Um, or if you're even going for that style, it also can work like quite well. But you can see here, this can look super nice, especially in the background. Uh, it would just give your map that little extra touch. Okay, so before we move on to the more advanced versions over there, uh, I want to show you a little trick which you can use for like Zomos Max, for example, where players have to build or players have to, you know, kind of climb up rocks. You can see in this rock formation over here, that is obviously not possible to place uh, down um, um, building rocks in here. So I cannot build in here. If I go over to these here, um, I can actually do that because these are terrain pieces and terrain pieces have the option to actually, you know, kind of build in them. So you can see I can actually build on that even though there's no like ground or whatever. If you want to build with these type of stuff, uh, you don't have the option. But there's another trick which you can use and that is placing down uh, pieces from the terrain gallery. You can get them by getting into the creative island, go to um, galleries and then you can basically look for terrain here. One of these uh, five galleries here, 
um, you can use to um, put inside of mountains and create some terrain which you can actually play on or which you can actually build on. So basically what you want to do is you want to pick up any of these pieces which are the most commonly used ones uh, and then just place them like a rock formation and then what you want to do obviously is place them, you know, you can copy and paste them or whatever you want to do and then you can place them inside of here like this for example and you can see that you can uh, even build inside of them which is obviously you have to do it a little bit more carefully so you know it is a little bit more realistic. Um, but you get the point. You can just place them inside of the mountains and it you know, will be able to be played, which is super great, obviously. Uh, so you don't have to use always these mountains, which are kind of hard to uh, lay out and you know have to take care of a lot of stuff. And these are like kind of easy to make. So uh, that's a quick little tip that you can use, which is super nice. Okay, moving on to the big boys. Um, you can see I have four different here and you see that in a second why we have them here. Um, but basically they are created from the terrain galleries uh, and you can find them as already said you can find them in terrain and then you go into basically any of these uh, five galleries here okay another gallery which also has the option to have like terrain pieces and you can build inside of them is the uh, the shock cliff gallery so actually the the one from the shock cliff gallery is actually my preferred one uh, but you can obviously just use the normal one you can see here uh, this one is from the normal one and this one is the shock cliff uh, i really like the texture on this one more uh, but you can obviously use whatever you want so uh, that depends on you and the style that you want to go for but most importantly that you use this piece the reason for uh using this piece is because it's cornered or it's like around at the edge uh which gives us a lot of options to scale it up and scale it like very nicely and kind of merge it into each other which is uh the main reason we can do this with these mountains so and then obviously what you want to do is you want to just place them randomly so we, i can show you this quickly here um obviously depending on how large you want to go you can scale this up um so we're going to scale it up a little bit here depending on what you prefer you can put it on a grid snap or not um we're going to put it on a grid snap for now but i would recommend not putting it on a grid snap um, but it's easier now for just quick showing purposes to you know get that done so uh, we put it on a grid snap and uh, we just turn it a little bit so like this and you can see it's already getting the shape of the mountain the next thing that we want to do is uh, we want to give it a little bit of rotation and kind of fit it into each other it doesn't have to be super perfect or whatever it is just you know should look random that is the main thing that is important if you create rock galleries you can obviously go go here and then you know kind of scale it up a little bit turn it again uh, maybe make it a little bit steeper or whatever um, that is obviously completely on you and there's no like guide on how to do it uh, and you get the point obviously it is depending all on you and it, you have to be just random um, there's no recipe on how to do a good mountain uh, one thing which you can obviously do which a lot of creators do is then copy and pasting all the stuff and then kind of start you know rotating that copy and paste stuff a little bit so um, you, you can get like some really cool stuff with just copy and pasting a bunch of stuff into each other and you can see this is looking quite decent obviously that is not perfect by any means uh, but you get the point and then you can see here we have this little like corner which doesn't look nice and then obviously what you can do is just go here and place it, place another one inside now we have the problem here and then we go here again place it inside this is very easy to repair you can just place down mountains in each other uh, but obviously sometimes you have the problem that you cannot you know kind of fix it and like let's say we have this problem right here right we have some grass here which is not really fitting into each other there's no way to actually make this work properly um so we have to kind of fix it up or like hide it you can say so um you can see in this example um for this one i actually put down the uh, uh one more rock here so it's a little bit more hidden here and then i just put down a fallen tree here and i just put some trees around so it looks like quite nice uh, you get the point you can also use the uh the grass here which is like super nice for hiding stuff like this is your go-to guy if you want to hide stuff um this is like super nice and you can make it like on top of it or whatever it looks just super decent or you can have like some rocks here which are like kind of falling off the cliff or whatever um but the point is that you don't have to be like super precise with that stuff you can hide it afterwards anyways so uh, that is the main thing that i want to give to you guys you have to just try out stuff and have to play around with stuff obviously these galleries are not the the only galleries that you can use for rocks there are a lot of other galleries and a lot of other things that you can use for terrain but these are just some examples and some you know kind of inspiration that i want to give to you guys uh, so hopefully you can use that and hopefully you can create some really cool mods obviously share them like let me see them uh at twitter at richie tunes 
and I hopefully it could help you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.